Hey guys, this is Real Appalachia with Shane. And Melody. And we are back at it again. That's right. And we are starting a new series. Sorry, didn't mean to jump over yet. I'm the intro to stuff. Tell them what we're going to be doing. <laughs> we're starting a new series. Um, while working on our book, we come across all these really cool old newspaper articles. So we're going to start sharing some of those with you guys. And then we'll talk about them a little bit. And when I say interesting, I mean like really, really interesting. There's some dark stuff, some murders, or some really funny stories, and then we'll kind of play into it, and we'll love to hear your opinions on it. Yeah, we love this. I mean, we yes. started making photocopies while we are at the library and whatever, mm -hmm. and we have uh, come up with some good stuff, chicken thieves, you name it. Mm -hmm. Today is a really good one. We're going to kick you this thing right off good, don't you think? I think so, and Shane's going to share this week's with us, so go for it, Shane. All right. <laughs> this one dates back to 1924, December 20th. Mm -hmm. This was in the Bluefield Daily Telegraph, a paper I'm very familiar with. Mm -hmm. We used to take the paper at the, my house in Dorian. So <laughs> I always loved the Bluefield Daily Telegraph, but this is a story about the infamous Cinder Bottom in Keystone, West Virginia. Mm -hmm. you know, have you heard of this place? I have not. Um, we'll, we'll be talking a lot about Cinder Bottom on this series, I can promise you that, but this is one of my favorite stories. I just, one of the first ones I stumbled into. Yeah. And we had these this independent thoughts of doing something like this. Yeah. And uh, when you came with your idea, which was better than mine, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but it's like, man, I've been seeing these same kind of articles that just fascinated me. So <laughs> anyway, getting into the article. The headline reads, liquor concealed in a chandelier. Now that's about as cool as That's a really it. cool article, yeah. You know this is what we get. <laughs> yeah. So Rosa Wade and Wanda Morrison made prisoners following a raid on dwellings in Cinder Bottom section of Keystone. Uh, new methods of concealing liquor were disclosed yesterday when prohibition agents removed a chandelier from the ceiling of a dwelling in the cinder bottom section of Keystone and found 12 gallons of the spirits, which were evidently being stored for the Yuletide season. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 12 gallons, that's a lot. That's a Merry Christmas right that's there. That's a Merry Christmas. In addition to 12 gallons of corn liquor, a quart of scotch whiskey was found and a bottle of rye whiskey labeled Granddaddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's got to be good. Yeah, like stop, it. stop. Yeah, stop, stop. The latter brand was the first to have been found by prohibition officers in recent years. Rosa Wade and Wanda Morrison were made prisoners following the raid. Five gallons of whiskey was found under the floor of a room of a dwelling occupied by William Kid James, said to be a deputy sheriff of McDowell County. Uh oh, that's not good. Mm -hmm. A trap door in the middle of the floor of the room was found. A five gallon can of liquor was found just under the trap door. This dwelling was also in the center bottom section of Keystone and James and Lenny Dodd were arrested. The four persons were brought to Bluefield and taken before Commissioner A.J. Hearn and were held for the U.S. or for the January term of the United States Court in Bluefield. Bond in the sum of $1,000 each was required of the parties for their release until court convened. Now, a thousand dollars was quite a bit back then, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. That was a lot of money. You know what I thought of when I read that too? About obviously Rosa Wade and Warren Morrison's two women. Right? Yeah. Did, did it's you ever watch impressive. The, I did. did you ever watch that Andy Griffith episode where those two women were ratting out other moon counters? Yes. And then they were making it themselves. They were the ones. Yes. Making, they weren't doing anything women. wrong. No, nah, they were just they were, they were doing it for the right reason. I well, these women were just trying to have a good Christmas party. I mean, can you blame them? <laughs> Twelve yeah. gallons, so wow. When you pull out granddaddy. When you pull out granddaddy. You're going for broke on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty wild. I'd love to know what happened out of that case. It'd be wonderful to know if they actually spent any time because that's kinda you know They were they took prohibition very seriously. Oh they did, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Back in those days. As a matter of fact, that's you know, uh, a lot of what the Ku Klux Klan was about was trying to stamp out alcoholism, which is so crazy, you know. Huh, that's how they got a, that. That's how they got a foothold. A foothold in here is they were trying to make good men out of people, supposedly. Mm -hmm. No, no, and that's how they trying to pitch it. But anyway, yeah, yeah liquor was very much a. Um, hey, and in the mountains, we like our moonshine. I mean, we wouldn't have NASCAR if it wasn't for prohibition and the South needing their liquor. That's true. I've, I mean, and I've got some. I've had some moonshine for medicinal purposes. Just yeah, the, the I mean, I, it knocks out in, any like lung illness. It helps. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna say what I used it for because it caused us to get shadow banned before. But oh, yeah. I, um, I've, I've used it for 
you know, mm-hmm. to get rid of some coughs. Um, some illness of the lungs that was going around around 2020 or so. Yeah, yeah. That, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. You used it for that, and I'm telling you, it worked just like a charm. As the second I took it, I, I, I took one, I made one little dose of it, and never had another problem. Yeah. yeah. I took a couple other more doses just to be cautious. Just yeah. be cautious. Just, yeah. You know. You know. Didn't get anything out of it. <laughs> yeah, so they were, they had this uh, for the Yuletide season, so... But I guess they were selling it for, to other people. You think? I guess well, it's just the much. holiday season that people buy up a lot of alcohol or something. Yeah, they won't have a Merry Christmas. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure. So I was joking about the Christmas party thing, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, just like nowadays, I mean, people finding a way to celebrate. And you can imagine, so Cinder Bottom, for anybody that doesn't, isn't familiar with Keystone, I mean, that was coal country. Yeah. And a lot of those guys were, you know, they worked hard, long hours. Well, you know, a lot of people, I think especially back then, used alcohol as like a pain relief. And, you know, we even still struggle now with um, drug use because, and that's a whole other topic for a whole other video, but, you know, we were kind of targeted, or we were targeted openly by um, the opioid manufacturers because we have an area that's full of people that's worked really hard and it's been hard on their bodies so i guess it's a lot similar to prohibition now like the war on drugs it's kind of similar so yeah absolutely and you can imagine too just think not every minor was married Mm -hmm. and actually a lot of them come up there what pleasure did they have you go work you come home yeah well you know get up and do it all over again so Getting, getting something about getting uh, getting your granddaddy on <laughs> can help you to escape can help you to escape from your troubles for a little while, you know. Yeah, I guess I could see that. Yeah, I, I think anybody can understand the temptation, you know. Yeah. Sure, so. Yeah, definitely. And I guess Rosa and Wanda preyed on that a little bit, but. Yeah. Well, that's the name of the women from the Goodbye Earl. No. Wanda and something. Don't throw off on the name Wanda. It's my mama's name, so. I'm not throwing off on the name Wanda. I'm saying they were the women from Goodbye Earl, but Marianne and Wanda. Oh, man. Sorry, Pl- I had to. Yeah. Rosa Wade and Wanda Morrison. So, yeah. I bet they were popular ladies up in that area when you say. I bet so, too. Yeah. So, that was a really cool story, and the one that I plan on sharing next is really cool, too. Um, just openly honest, I couldn't find it today, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe it would be something, but... <laughs> well, this one had everything you'd want, though. Trap doors, shady cops, I mean... I mean, that's, that's very uh, innovative to hide alcohol in a chandelier. Oh, you got to yeah. give them that. I know, to put that much thought... Women are smarter than men, right? I know, they would make the best moon trainers, I'm sure of that. <laughs> yeah. Especially maybe, that, maybe that's why there wasn't as many women that got caught. It wasn't they didn't do it. They were just better hot. Wise words. Wise words yeah. indeed. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, I hope you like it. Yes. We'll drop us some comments and let us know and we'll keep on dropping. But. Yeah. Let us know any good moonshine stories you have yeah. and what you thought about this. We've got some great, I'm telling you. I can't wait to get into some stories. I'm, these are, I'm so excited. I know. About the Pima pants, about the, the two or three of them that I've got already laid out. Cause yeah. I, I won't, me too. I won't give it away, but I'm, I'm telling excited. you, it even gets better than this, believe me. Yes, and we got a lot of them. So we can't wait to share with you guys, and we hope you like it. If you do, give us the thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of these. And we will see you. Wait, we forgot to say name the segment. We're going to call it A New Look at Old News. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's great. You should oh. share that at the beginning. I know. That's what I was thinking. It's like I was meant to. And, uh. We'll get you next time. All right. See you on Down the Road.